the question then is it is a challenge or a threat? So what is a challenge? It's something you think you can succeed at, but we can break it apart. Do you have the skills, knowledge, resources, and ability to succeed? I use this as a checklist. When I start getting nervous about something, I think, okay, why am I nervous? Do I have the skills to do this? Do I have the knowledge? Do I have the talent? Do I have the ability? And if I'm actually going, actually, no, I don't have the knowledge. I forgot to read this memo. This meeting is going to go really badly. Okay, but then I have a cure, right? I can read the memo, right? If you identify what of those pieces that you're missing, you can go back to that challenge state. Because that's what you want to do is you want to focus. It doesn't have to be a guarantee of a win. If you think you're absolutely guaranteed to win, you may actually underperform, right? That's when we skate. That's kind of like, oh, yeah, okay, whatever. So a little bit of that excitement and butterflies is actually good because it's going to keep you going forward. But you don't want to be overwhelmed. And then if you think, okay, no, I don't even have the knowledge, skills, and resources and ability. You know, it's, it's like, I don't, I don't have my lucky socks. Um, I forgot them, and um, I forgot them when I, and I realized this I'm on a plane traveling somewhere. There's nothing I can do about the socks, right? So that's when you go back and change the goal. Change the goal to something that you do think you can succeed at. Sometimes the goal may be, I need to start this meeting without throwing up. And that may be hard for someone who's really <laughs> scared, right? But again, so now we're going back to the benefit of competition is improvement. Because even when I fall on my face, I'm going to learn something from it. So that's why that goal setting is so important because you want to move the goal to be something, again, slightly so that you got to reach, but not so much that you think you're going to give up. Because again, if you're totally outclassed, if you're like, wow, I'm a rookie, I've never done this before, and everybody here is a world-class expert than me, you're not going to learn from them. You're just going to shut down. So again, it's focusing on the skills, knowledge, resources, and ability to improve. And then that gives you the tool of a thing you can actually attack rather than just being stuck with this fear of failure. Mm -hmm.